Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Fortmaster. So, uh, in this episode, finally gonna go and, um, lean on the barrier and wait for Taki... Tak... Takamura. I'm horrible at pronouncing. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, let's actually do that, so... We can move on with his quest. Because I've kind of been pushing him off for... I don't really know why I've been pushing uh, pushing that his mission off. Waiting on the dock of the bay. It is good to see you, B. Long time Seems no see. Pretty uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? We're close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. Jeez. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's from the carrier at anchor in the bay. Saburo's daughter. Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Just hope he doesn't blindly follow Arasaka protocol. What protocol? Unwritten rules. <laughs> Had him here in Night City. Could be different in Japan. If IA got even a whiff of treason, they prep an enhanced interrogator and send two elite squads with air support to grab the suspect. I understand the point you seek to make. But if Oda has ulterior motives, he will need no elites, no air support, no one but himself. Trust me, I have seen him work. Okay. That's supposed to be reassuring. If it helps you stay calm, you can gaze at the sky. There isn't much sky, there's like a giant pipe in the way. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Is that my car? No, that's not it. Is the license plate a barcode? I, I never noticed that before. Takemura-san. Oda. Should I get down from this? Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness, B. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Was there, saw what happened. Yorinobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. Scan my memories, I know I that's a thing you can do. Is to keep her safe. In this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly, I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Fool! Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do but my But you duty. can't ignore the truth! You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu Sama. What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu Sama. Consider yourself lucky. That Oda, I... you are an Arasaka soldier. This is not a request. We remind you of your duty to be truthful to your superiors. I did not come here to be lectured to by a thief. Wasn't always what I am now. And your friend here 
didn't always look like a bum. Feel free to join us. Plenty of room at the bottom of the heap. <laughs> Not enticed? Then do your duty. Tell Hanako what nobody else wants to hear. That should be to him. As you say, food of all thought. Corpo! Like it, it is a shame. Nothing will come of it. How come? It should have been obvious. Oda is a perfectionist. He most fears to make a mistake. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Fine friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. Mm. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes. And obtained something useful. Hmm. How do you figure that? Oh. What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If somehow we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Um, yeah, I guess we. I know one. Oh, just a fixer dame. Okaku Akada runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Okay. Are, are we going there now? Or? Will you join me? I mean, pff, I got nothing else to do. Sure. Why not? J.J. Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Just a night city name. Beware. You mock me too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? <laughs> I'm just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Yeah. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorino and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. You don't get a chance to actually look at things. Hey, you already told that story, dude. And again, I I think this is like the third or fourth time I've said this, but I mean, like I even at even when you're not at back off max settings, <laughs> this is a very nice looking game. I hope oh, I can't get out of the door. Ah, they're stopping me. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws. No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. Okay. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is... 
Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro des. Okada san, oai dekit e kohei des. Ha, a true gentleman. Ha, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Caution. Caution? World's most wanted Japanese fugitives hide now in Night City, and you got nothing to do with it? Please. We know they're thinking. They'll link you to us faster than you can finish puffing on that sig. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex is fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped at a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex, I answered. Just facts, nothing more. Good, cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets. Don't worry, mine are, are definitely not. Really? My gift to you. It's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? <laughs> Though I find Japan it funny, she just has this Hold shard this laying around with just everything that we needed. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, the guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. Okay. At the end, the floats will float out of Japan Town, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wakako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Okay. We've got information now. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. I thought you said the you didn't have anyone I left. Something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. Cut to me in five minutes when I'm being gunned down. <sighs> okay, again, that did not take very long. Um, I'm gonna have to find something else to do. You know what, next one, um, I don't know why I didn't do this last time, but we got one more fight to do before we move up a rank, I guess you could call it. Uh, so let's beat the brat. 
Oh, okay. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. So what did you come up with? The mocks died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Sure, yeah. Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Maiko Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. You sure Maiko's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. The, the information from Okada-san. Very valuable. I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. Where will it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted end cart station? In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. Okay, well, um, I'll get there after this, okay? Hmm, pretty, pretty, pretty serious going on. Oh, what? Oh, hi, it's you, rather low poly. Hail Cesar. Shouldn't you be putting up a cradle or something? Days tomorrow. Okay. Whatever you say, dude. Great to see you. So, what now? What now, he said. <laughs> the title match. You go up against Razor Hughes. Heard of him, haven't you? I think I've seen posters. He's a pro boxer, right? He is the boxer. You had your head buried in the sand? Yeah, sort of. I see him here because, you know, he's a star athlete with elite corporal But then his agent tells us it's a good PR move for him. Razor returning to his roots and all that. Prove he's still a kid from the streets. Do I even have a shot? <laughs> okay. A good question. You could be very good. This guy. Literally, he is 95% machine. All optimized by Night City's best bioengineer. I don't know. Maybe Victor will have some tips. Tricks. What, Vic's here? What? You think he'd miss an occasion like this? But listen, I'll be honest. Don't look too good for you. But maybe that's better. <laughs> if Razor's winning anyway, maybe you're looking to turn a little something on. Eh, no, I'm gonna win this. I'll pass. Hey, hey. You don't even know what it is yet. Yeah, I can guess. So again, I'll pass. I fight to win. Period. Okay, Jesus, be that way. <laughs> Uh, right, so are you two ready to fight? Only one round. 
What? One round! All it's gonna take for you to kiss my feet and beg for mercy. Right, uh -huh. Shall we? Fine, let's I'm do ready. it. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, night citizens, it's time for our heavyweight boat. Facing each other tonight, we have Razor Hughes and B. Let's hear it. On to your corner. Okay, I'm in a corner. Oh. Hey, wait. Hey, Vic. Not <laughs> Vic. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I came to see the fight of the year. Everybody on the streets buzzing about it. Don't let me down now. You hear? V. Hey, how are your spirits before the fight? Ready to go. Good. My knuckles are itching. <laughs> you won't get far in this sport without confidence. But you know, positive thinking's only going to get you so far against an opponent like Razor. How do you mean? The guy's a tank. Seriously, nanofiber, real skin, shock absorbers. You could knock him on the head with a meat mallet, and he wouldn't even flinch. Appreciate the pet talk. <laughs> Hold on now. I'm not done. He's got a weakness. Had some abdominal muscle swapped out a week ago, and they haven't taken to him fully just yet. <laughs> you hit him there, it's gonna hurt a lot. Thanks, Vic. I'll keep it in mind. You two ready? At the gong! Uh -huh. Let's get it! Let's start this thing. May the battle roller win! Whoa! Punch him off! I'm gonna punch him off! I would if he would face me! <laughs> this is just not fair! Admittedly, I'm gonna run out of stamina. Can I kick him? Oh no. Whoa, okay. Come on. I have full stamina and you have no health. I shall win this. Call it now. This fight's over. <laughs> Victory and the prize belong to V, your champion. Do you think this is how it ends? Did, did I just let you out my grip? You'd be wise to. Don't think you could take another beating. This ain't over between us. We'll meet again. Tomorrow, next year. This definitely ain't the last. Hey, I look forward there. to it. I suggest you train in the meantime. Well, this would happen. Only the best could be me. <laughs> Oh, okay. That, I guess uh, I talked to the jet. Okay. Well, that was relative. That was very quick. <laughs> Great. Yeah, yeah. It went perfect, and Razor lost. How much? Uh, tons. A few thousand at least. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a good actor. Wait, wait. Actor. So you pulled that whole father story out of your ass. Uh, sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Gotta go. Ugh. <laughs> Could've figured. Uh, I'm guessing I should've talked to this kid beforehand. 